black people own everything. You see that melanin girl? You hate it. Uh -huh. Yo, what is going on guys and fellow bloopers? It is your boy, Classic League so very much stopping by and today I usually don't use those intros because I kind of find them really cringy But a fan of mine made it for me and submitted it to me I don't exactly remember who it was, but it was a really nice gesture and I'm like, you know what? I need an intro for this video. So why not every single one of you guys are completely amazing in your own special ways And I love just giving back to my fans any single way I can so that's why this year I'm gonna try to do a lot more giveaways than I have before I'm gonna start doing a lot more things but on to the main topic of discussion since I started out all positive uh, the direction this video is about to change so I heard from a bunch of you guys that you guys absolutely love my rants everyone's telling me make more rants make more rants and I'm just thinking to myself I'm not gonna be a Jesse Wellens that goes picks up on rice gum for views like I'm not gonna rant for views I'm gonna actually rant on something that has either wronged me or has wronged a group of people that shouldn't have been wronged or if someone's just being a complete retard this person happens to be all three so this kind of fits in a great category there like seriously I was scrolling through the good old website we call YouTube and I clicked on this video thinking it was a joke turns out I went through her channel and I'm like <laughs> great banter I like the video and then I go through the channel and I'm like, oh shit, sh she wasn't kidding. This is actually, this is actually a person's beliefs. The oh, oh my god. Like seriously, I wouldn't even be able to explain it. So let's just get into the first video by the amazing black supremacist YouTuber by the name of Gazi Kadzo. Without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, Kwabi y'all. All right, y'all. So if you haven't heard already, me and my Uhuru comrades are going to North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. Y'all know there's an uprising going on over there, and we are going. And you know what? One thing I can't stand about when these, you know, uprisings happen, you know, people want to call them riots and looting, but I call it uprisings, okay? You can call it whatever you want. I could call taking all the money out of your wallet as lightening your pockets. I could steal your shoes and call it leaving you barefoot. I could steal your girl and call it a favor. <laughs> I can hijack a car and call it a rent-a-car. It doesn't matter. Those are crimes, no matter what words you put it as. Whether it be uprising, you're looting. In the terms of the election, Trump supporters and Hillary supporters destroyed a lot of private property where a lot of these small businesses were forced to go out of business because they could not afford the damages on top of all of the costs they have to pay per month. So for you to prove your point of a quote-unquote uprising, you're going to steal from somebody's store and hurt their business to get your point across because that seems like something a logical person would do. When these uprisings happen, two things people say, white people say, they get on my mother effing nerve. The first thing that white people like to say is, well, what's all that looting? Why are they looting? Why are they taking things and all this other kind of stuff? Girl, girl, you ain't seen looting until you've seen the United States of America go to war and steal resources and oil from colonized countries all over the world, in Africa and in the Middle East especially, okay? You ain't seen looting until you see Christopher Columbus who came here and stole this land from the native people. You ain't seen looting until you see America stole half of Mexico by gunpoint and are now calling indigenous people immigrants and illegal. You ain't seen looting until you see my black ass. I'm loot, bitch. That's how you think I got here in America. We is loot. We is looted. Okay, you looted my black ass. That's how I'm here. So when my looted black ass takes anything, that's called forceful reparations, girl. Hashtag forceful reparations. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's just go through what was said. Anytime a black person takes something it is forceful reparations if you guys don't know what reparations is it's payment for pain and suffering so basically what she's saying is she should be able to go to a GameStop take a PS4 scream forceful reparations from slavery that happened in the 17 and 18 hundreds and be able to walk out of the door free of charge are you this big of an idiot why should we let you walk away with product because your ancestors suffered 250 years ago when only 3% of white people were actually able to afford slaves or even needed them. Like for me, my family wasn't even here at that time. I may look white as day, but my family immigrated here in the 1960s. So here's a lesson, guys. If you are any sort of minority, feel free to walk into a store 
grab whatever you want, scream forceful reparations, and just take it. Don't worry, those cop cars that were following you, they're escorting you to make sure you get your product safe and sound back to your house. And if they put you in handcuffs, consider it for your own protection. And if you have to stay in jail a couple nights, think of it as complimentary housing. Share, 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 share. Happy Halloween, white people. Happy Halloween, male Saxons. So all freaking months, all freaking month of October, I had to see racist costumes from white people. Costumes of Trayvon Martin, costumes of Mike Brown, costumes of Sandra Bland. Y'all think it's funny, don't you? So this is my costume. My name is Zachary. I'm Zachary. Well, give it up for your revolutionary leader over here. Because hell yeah, who doesn't want to get behind someone that dresses up with baby powder and puts a wig on and calls them Zachary because they got offended? Like, do you see how stupid you look? Now, if what you were saying is the case, that's highly messed up, but I personally do not believe a word that you say at all. I I'm just... What went through your head as the leader of this movement to to just dress yourself in basically white face, which is baby powder, and call yourself Zachary. I, I, I don't know. Um, what's this? What's, what's this? What's, what's this? Well, Zachary is really angry. So I'll explain what this is later. But Zachary is really angry because, you know, my mom's like a total bitch. Like, she's a total bitch. Like, she didn't let me go to the movies last week on, and she didn't upgrade my iPhone. And I'm not just been like a total, total batch. Like it's just rather ridiculous. And like she didn't get me the car I wanted. Like, oh, like my mom's just been a total batch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to school. And when I go to school, it's gonna be something. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna embarrass your mom. I'm gonna embarrass y'all. See, I don't mind this joke, it's actually a pretty funny joke, but the thing she doesn't understand is, insulting someone's culture or a race is a two-way street, you know that, right? Like, you can't go say this shit about white people. See, like, I really wouldn't mind this, but I'm telling you, if I made the same joke, which I wouldn't because it's just really stupid, of me in blackface telling my audience that I'm gonna go rob a bank, I would probably be on the head of CNN right now, and my channel would be terminated. Oh, but it's 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 like practically fine for her to dress up as like a white person and tell him that she's gonna shoot up a school. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's perfectly acceptable. Now the other way around, it's racist. Newsflash: Everybody can be racist. Sorry if that hurts your ears to hear. Let's look up the definition of racism. Prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism directed against someone of a different race based on the belief that one race is superior. Black people own everything. 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 Then believing that one race is superior makes you a racist. I, I just, it's as simple as that. This is... A straight definition. So, all right, you guys, I'm, I'm gonna go now. But um, before I go, I don't want anyone commenting saying, "Oh my God, you're being so uncensored about like victims and stuff." Because these male Saxons love to dress up as like terrorists, and when they post their posts about terrorists, they don't care about you know the victims. When they post pictures of them looking like black people that have been murdered, they get away with it. Not only do you get away with dressing like the black people that have been murdered, but the white murderers who murdered those black people get away with it. So happy Halloween, white people. Zachary out, you guys. Zachary is out of here, okay? Okay, I'm angry. My mom's a total botch. My mom's a botch. Stan, I hate your mom. You're a botch. Freaking botch. The face of a movement, ladies and gentlemen. The modern day mocking Jay. See, I never thought we would get into Hunger Games era, but but look where we are. Oh Jesus. That is going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. Make sure to smash a big fat like on it, and as always, hit the subscribe as well. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm not a person to rant on somebody and leave them kind of defenseless. Her channel is in the description down below. If she does accept, I will personally start a live stream, and we will have a debate. Since uh, President Worthy Ryan Papke did not accept my invitation, I am ready for a debate. And this one will be good. So if you guys want to see that, go on her most recent video and use the hashtag #TheClassyDebate and link her this video. I love each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to keep it classy. And as always, 
Peace out, guys. Listen to me. What do you get when you guzzle down sweets? <laughs>